Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So if you're new, I am Shu and I pretty much talk about everything beauty related. But today I wanted to film something different. So I want to talk about the things that I'm not buying this year. And I know we're already in like March of 2022. And I've been really, really good with the progress <laughs> that I'm making. I haven't purchased a single new item of makeup product or a skincare item which is huge for me i think i mean i had a successful year of no buy 2019 but then i relapsed hard 2020 and 2021 last year it's just i was in this shopping craze for some reason so right now i need to take control back in my life and i also want to do this video because I want to hold myself accountable for my future self just to tell myself that hey you're going out of control just slow down be mindful be selective more selective <laughs> and you know curate the items that I'm bringing into my life so here are top 10 items or categories that I am no longer buying for this year and I made a whole list on my little notepad that my boyfriend gave me so number one makeup especially eyeshadow palettes I know I have a beauty channel but it's not an excuse for me to be buying every single makeup releases out there it's just ridiculous I don't know how other beauty gurus do it but some of them you know they get sent products and that completely makes sense because people rely on their reviews and i'm not there yet so i shouldn't be purchasing everything under the sun just to maintain a youtube channel so i have to change that mindset and i appreciate all of you guys who have been leaving me sweet comments and like my videos and subscribe to my channel for my nonsense here on youtube i really do appreciate that but anyways this is going to be hard because if i see a new path mcgrath palette that i like and thankfully she haven't been releasing the items that i'm interested in so we'll see when december rolls around but for this year i am planning a no buy on makeup again so number two, skincare. Just like makeup items, I think I have enough skincare that should last me for two to three years now. I do have a lot of products that I need to go through. I have like three full-size face creams or more, I think. I have like eye creams and travel size items and face washes. I don't think I need to be purchasing any more skincare items so number three clothes i have a closet full of clothes and and endless drawers of clothes i have a lot of gym outfits a lot of home outfits a lot of tops a lot of jeans and sweatpants and winter attires endless coats i really don't need to be buying another clothing item for a while now so i should be happy with the items that i have in my wardrobe right now for some reason my favorite shirt get torn and ripped maybe i might consider you know replacing it but i think that i'm pretty happy with the clothes that i have in my closet right now so number four makeup removers especially wipes so i do however purchase the cotton rounds to use my micellar water uh, to remove my makeup i kind of do the double cleansing technique so i don't think i need makeup remover wipes i do however use wipes sometimes to um, wipe off my swatches and whatnot but i think that i'm gonna swap it to use in micellar water only um, even when i do swatches so no more makeup remover wipes Number five are shoes. Just like clothing items, makeup, and skincare, I have a curated set of shoes that I have currently. I only wear flats and sneakers pretty much. I 
have some like low heels but I rarely wear heels so most of the time I just wear flats because I hate heels I don't like anything that's above like two inches it's just uncomfortable for me and I don't believe in wearing uncomfortable shoes I rather be in a comfortable state at all times so if I come across a very uncomfortable shoe I'll just get rid of it or not wear it at all but I think I have a good selection of shoes currently and yeah I'm not planning to buy any more new shoes so number six home decors or seasonal decors my boyfriend he's very into decorating the house and lights and whatnot I am not very into decorating I did however purchase like one item like a pompous grass um, decorative piece which was pricey but it's beautiful and then I purchased a huge mirror for the living room but I don't have interest in purchasing decor so I just I don't know I like a clean space I don't really like to decorate <laughs> at all I'm not one of those people that's into home decorations at all when Christmas time rolls around um, my boyfriend has a Christmas tree um, it's not traditional for my family to have a Christmas tree even if you guys don't know I am Burmese Chinese so we don't really celebrate Christmas I mean right now I've been exchanging gifts with my boyfriend because he likes Christmas I like going around the neighborhood watching other people's decorations during like the holiday seasons like the Halloween, Thanksgiving, is there decorations for July 4th? I don't know. Yeah, seasonal decorations I'm really not into. I really don't like the clutter and the mess so yeah home decor and seasonal decor should be easy one for me. Number seven is also easy shaving creams. I put it on the list because I think I used to purchase them when I was a teenager but ever since I moved out of my Brooklyn house I haven't been buying any more shaving creams and I've just been using shampoo or conditioner or normal soap to shave my legs and it works the same so shaving creams are just I mean I guess it makes your legs smoother but besides that, you know, you can just add more lotion on it if you want that smoothness. But shaving creams are just a no-go for me. Number eight, perfumes. So I love perfumes. I still really love them now. I used to purchase a lot of perfumes back in the days. And even a couple of years ago, I was into perfumes. And I bought a lot of full-size perfumes. But now I have curated down to only five full-size perfumes and the rest of the perfumes I have are like tiny sizes like the one I have in the back. And I have a lot of sample sizes from Sephora and I also am really into travel sized perfumes like the rollerball ones. I really really love them because I feel like you can just take them on the go and touch up when you need to. In the future, I don't think I'll be purchasing any more full-size perfumes. I'll just be buying travel size ones. Yeah. So number nine, jewelry. I love my gold jewelry. I have a mixture of real gold and like fake gold now. Um, and I love dainty pieces from a jewelry, one of my favorite jewelry sites. I love their dainty pieces and I used to wear huge hoops. I still have some huge hoops in my jewelry collection but I am, I guess because I'm grown older, I am more into dainty pieces and anything that weights my ears down, it just doesn't feel comfortable. So I am choosing comfort over anything else now. But yeah, and I'm not into buying watches either anymore i used to be obsessed with like the huge michael kors watches i still have two of them and i'm planning to resell them at some point gold for an eye watch it's just so much better it tracks your calories and 
you know your movements and everything like that i think this was a great investment so no more buying fashionable watches it's just not for me so final category fake nails and fake lashes and i really want to emphasize on fake nails i don't get my nails done even at a nail salon anymore because i don't like paying other people to do my nails when i know that i can do my own nails on my own i do have a few nail polishes i know for a fact that some extreme minimalists out there don't own any more nail polishes which i cannot do because i do like coloring my toes and my nails on my own at times but if i have to recreate my nail polish collection i would just buy like a nude color that goes well with my skin tone um se nail polishes are great for that fake nails really doesn't feel comfortable at all i just don't like the feeling of having a fake nail sitting on top of my real nail once the glue wears off from the fake nail it just gets tangled and my hair gets caught in between the fake nail and the real nail it's just so annoying i really don't know why i put myself through that pain but it's just something that i don't want to relive ever again i, I still have fake nails in my um collection and i have a lot of crazy false eyelashes as well which i'm planning to get rid of i am however going to be keeping like the really natural ones like i have on today like the artel uh, wispies or i rather have something very very natural in my collection i feel like as i have grown older i want my selections to become minimal and i want to choose comfort over any other reasons i i pretty much want to simplify my life because life is already very very difficult that's pretty much my list of the things that i'm not buying this year and hopefully i can add on to this list of more things that i'm not planning to be buying i know there are certain things that i really won't be putting on the list like bubble tea or bubble tea ripple coffee food maybe those are the items that i definitely won't be put on my list because they are a priority to me maybe i can put like junk food on the list anything that's like really unhealthy i shouldn't be eating i needed to film this video because i wanted to shift my focus into more of an intentional living situation more minimal lifestyle not to be hung up on stuffs down in the future i want to really really minimize and ultimately to have less anxiety with owning less things in life anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video please let me know in the comments down below on the things that you guys are not buying for this year and tell me also how is this inflation in the world right now affecting your mental health and also your living situation i am just really curious you don't have to share if you don't want to um but anyways thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye